Josef Janning is from the European Council on Foreign Relations and joins us today to talk about protectionism. How protectionist would you say Europe is today? I'd say Europe is moderately protectionist. It, it differs. You know? Agriculture, as uh, you have shown before, is one of the higher protection areas. Many industrial products are not. Oftentimes, protectionism uh, is part of an equilibrium uh, for the opening of a huge market to the inside, which means that you need certain measures to kind of fence off competition uh, because you're asking European producers to compete on a big market. But also, it is one of those elements a big market uses to impose its preferences on others. No? Uh, so, as a big market, Europe can launch procedures against dumping from outside because it is so attractive. So would you say it's good to be moderately protectionist? Well, I think it's understandable. Uh, probably uh, when you're small, your only chance is to be fully open. But when you're large, there are a couple of deals that you have to enter into uh, and social uh, equilibrium or the protection of certain standards is, is among them. We're also talking about a small part of the EU which is about to break free and uh, leave that big block. How's that going to change things? Because the UK is looking very protectionist right now in its direction. Well, for, for the UK it will change a whole lot um, because it will have to open up uh, because it can't afford the same level. But it's going in the other direction It's right going now. in the... Well, but it will have to change course. You know, um, uh, it, so it's it, going to be about survival. Yes, you know, once you're on your own, you don't have the market power of 500 million people no, anymore exactly. to, uh, <laughs> to, to help you at the negotiation table. Mm. And then, you know, your uh, higher degree of openness will be your uh, marketing position for outside investments uh, and attract trade and, and, and businesses. At the same time, the world's biggest economy is also moving in the other direction, going towards protectionism. Um, Will that make things even harder for Europe while Britain's pulling away? The US is also pulling away? Well, uh, the Europeans have tried, uh, uh, while being moderately protectionist, to advance a multilateral trading system. Mm. And now with the United States moving away from it, and with China, in spite of its rhetoric, not fully subscribing to the multilateral approach, uh, we're uh, moving towards a world of, of huge trading blocks. Mm. Uh, instead of a global multilateral trade regime. The EU can survive in this, but it's a different environment. Smaller players will have a harder time. OK, what about the second largest economy, China? It seems to be opening up more and moving away from protectionism. It, it, have I got that right? Well, China is deeply affected by growing protectionism elsewhere. <laughs> At the same time, it is not your ideal uh, open market economy. Now, China benefits greatly from the openness of Europe and the United States, but itself does not allow uh, the same uh, easy access to, of foreign companies, foreign investors into the Chinese market. And that is, is, is coming under pressure when uh, Trump moves the United States away from the previous consensus. So where do you see all this going? Who needs to make what moves to, to get ahead in this new reality? Well, I think a, a multilateralist, WTO plus based agenda has little chance if the Europeans are the only advocates. Now, so I see we're moving into a world of regional trade blocks. Uh, and for all economic players, it will be decisive. Are they part of such a block or close to, to such a block? The EU will respond to that by new free trade agreements uh, with third countries in Asia, with Japan, uh, as is currently negotiated, uh, and uh, will in that way protect its interest and use its big market to its advantage. Other players, smaller players like the UK outside of the EU will, don't, will not have that advantage. Mr. Yanning, it's an interesting new reality that we're entering. It is indeed. We'll see how we go. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming in today. Pleasure.